Hello, and welcome to a new edition of You News, where you get You News. Our top story tonight is a reversal of a real Bob Ross happy accident. Crypto.com accidentally transferred a woman $10.5 million instead of issuing a $100 refund like they intended. It took them six months and an end-of-the-year audit to realize their mistake. And by the time the error was discovered, the Melbourne woman had already transferred the money out and purchased a multi-million dollar home. Crypto.com has had to go through the Australian Supreme Court in order to get a judgment against the woman, ordering her to repay the amount. I'm more impressed that this woman had the wisdom to cash it out and buy an actual asset with the money. If one of you little shitcoin degenerates had been given $10.5 million, you would have YOLO'd that so fast into the nearest Elon's Rockets Comes Enu token that even if Elon actually comes Enu, you would still be in need of his child support payment checks. Next up, a report by businessinsider.com alleges that 71 Congress members in the U.S. have engaged in insider stock trading based on their privilege of knowledge. In some countries, they cut your hand off for stealing. But forget being a TikTok star or the American dream of owning your own business. No, in America, we should all dream to become an elected official so that we can just steal from the American people right in front of their face. If you're out sailing on the open sea, I hope you brought enough supplies to last a while. Trading has dried up on the NFT marketplace OpenSea by 99% in the last six months. We have recovered actual footage of the decline in users. Take a look. I'm honestly shocked that while inflation and war sanctions have caused the price of food and energy to rise like the chart of a meme coin, that people are not still clamoring to yeet thousands of dollars for a verified digital profile picture. Fair warning. I believe in astrology more than I believe in technical analysis indicators from morons on the internet. But this next signal is the best bullish news I've heard in months. Jim Cramer, the host of some boomer financial TV network show called Mad Money, advises everyone to avoid all speculative investments like crypto, saying the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is going to, quote, put an end to gambling, end quote. This would be sage advice, were it not for the fact that a portfolio named Inverse Cramer ETF, which is known for choosing the opposite of all Cramer's calls, is currently beating the S&P by almost 7%. Not sure how Kramer still has a job predicting stock prices on national television when he's this bad at it. We certainly would have fired a weatherman who predicted a snowstorm during a heat wave by now, but maybe Jim's fifth house of finances is in Uranus. Or his head is just in his anus. Either way, saying Jerome Powell is ending gambling is like saying Walter White is going to stop making meth in season three of Breaking Bad. He's in too deep and the cartel is involved. It's only going to get worse from here. Maybe if the Fed wouldn't have hacked the mint function on the U.S. dollar contract in 2020, we might not be re-watching Breaking Bad for ideas instead of entertainment. For our last story tonight, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. But this next one left some people speechless. Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, posted a photo of himself recently and we couldn't help but notice the... merge? Just wondering if traders are now looking at ETH to go long. Do they think it's going to pump? Apparently it's going to be huge. Or we might all get NFA. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac Secours, and I'll see you next week.